Oh, cool. Well, if I were almost at the same time as the game. So, today was apparently a holiday. Labor Day. That, that, well, I looked it up and it said it was Wednesday. I don't understand what went on with my workplace then. They were saying today was a holiday. Well, saying it's Labor Day weekend probably. But uh, nice time to buy mattresses and couches and whatnot. Fair enough. Once again, Lynn is in danger. I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't help her. Can't lose her. I have to go to her, and fast. Mm -hmm. I'll knock this ball down! You keep on racking up. Now it's more sultry. If you keep that racket up. If you keep that racket up. I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. <laughs> and yes, the answer is wood. That's probably around the Walter age, dude. Eh, I guess it takes all kinds to but make. Did you see the considerable weird considerable shelf on her? Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door, just angry how? No, forget that. All right. It was the sound of a telephone ring. Coming from the apartment next door. You mean the clap of her ass cheeks? Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the little lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crust me under it, underneath it. Yeah. What about like TV, Christmas stuff, TV? I'll pound this wall open. I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she won't knock you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. But the TV and the star are ornament art. Mm, I'll never park again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute, it looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? <laughs> your, bar your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall's still standing, just like before. But there are paths only the, the dead can see. Oh, there's kind of paths. Hmm. 
So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own path, right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. I guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If you ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. <laughs> like a furry little bag. <laughs> furry little missile. Her missile incoming. <laughs> Missiles on the case! <laughs> Tonight of the whole is that of the holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here's to the poorest people next door. Hmm. Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am, in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where's that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. Now if I can just borrow it. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find another way over there myself. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man. But we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination. Is that even a word? And that advocate just doesn't look right somehow. Those are perfectly acceptable words. Like... And this, this is going to nag me at, at me until I'm sure. Ready for a... Uh... Yeah. Poke? dictionary on this shelf. It's if some little angel will play naughty tricks on me. Perhaps my darling angel. Glass. Nope. 
What is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, mama. You poor dear. And no wonder. The fever of 102. He was a, to a night of fever hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the Speak night up, off? Speak up, man! <coughs> it's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be the best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camila next door or something. Here's to the part I'm seeing, my darling angel. <laughs> hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now. It's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. Mm -hmm. I hate you, Mama. These two are quite a pair. Father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What? What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Mm. I'd hate to live in Hitler's Prime Minister's country. What do you think of my romance voice acting? I thought you were going to be a little bit more Southern Belle about it, but... Eh. It works. Well, I mean, she's basically writing a bodice whipper. Time to do some ghost hoeing. What is going on? Oh, I made a typo. <laughs> Need some scores. Yep. Something. Oh. No. I see what you do. Boop. Yep. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. I deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. 
Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel, just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if, if that means forever! Let me talk to Amelie, then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Now, I finally have the telephone lines I need. Curious about this woman's husband. I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after looking is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry off. Time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. And besides them, a certain somebody else wiggles and bounces happily. I wonder what who that person really is too. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that the hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm, I better go see better see what I can find out. But for now we're gonna call it a recording. Thank you for watching a wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. Or episodes depending on how this gets edited down. Yeah. Right. Any thoughts so far? It's a real fun game. Very interesting writing. Very fun characters. I would have assumed a guardian angel instead of psychokinetic powers, but yeah. whatever works. Yeah. Time to end this recording. We will see all of you in the next installment of Gaming with Shala, whichever one it is next, whenever it do be. But for now, bye bye. Bye 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 now.